First off, I would like to thank three people. Caleb Mel, Trevor Robbins, and Esteban El Neverez. Caleb, Trevor, Esteban, you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for supporting this journey, for helping me out. I really appreciate it, guys. Now, back to the final projects that I need to finish up before we can get back on the road. We gotta take everything apart, remove the solar panels, probably mess with the fender flares to fit the new, to fit the new wheels and tires. These suckers are nice. These are the same wheels and tires that are on Jade. So then, if I need a spare, the spare works for all seven tires. Four tires on Jade, two tires on the trailer, one spare, we got seven tires total. They all will work for each other, mismatch. It's a way to do it. We're gonna paint this sucker matching Jade, same color, 34, 24, 84. 24087, semi-gloss, olive drab. It's a little bit darker and it kind of is a mix of a bunch of earth tones put together and it changes color in shade or just depending on the different lighting throughout the day. It's pretty cool and it makes sense why the military would have chose that color. It's kind of like a chameleon color. The reason I didn't repaint her her original color was because the night before we were supposed to leave for the Easter Jeep Safari, that paint still had yet to arrive. On the driver's side body of Jade, I fixed some rust areas, and so it was all left with poor 15 on her and just unfinished. So being that we were supposed to leave the next day, I decided let's just paint her whatever color we have. So yeah, in two and a half hours, we ended up painting her this new color. Don had five cans left of it from a different project, and he said, Hey, you guys want to use it? We could paint her that color, you know, at least just for the weekend. After the weekend, the color totally grew on me and I decided to leave her. So right now the roll bar is that original color just to offset it and kind of just because that was her original color. And that is the story of this new paint. In the background, you'll notice there is a trailer. On that trailer is a box. This box right here was donated to me. Andy actually donated this to me. He had it sitting in his yard for a while. I'm gonna be able to put it to some good use. This should work out great and provide so much extra room. It's a big old box. It's gonna save us a lot of space inside the trailer by keeping certain things outside the trailer. The idea is, so this is the idea. You got a cook stove top. You got your propane tank. You got the refrigerator, your cooking gear. Everything that's contained right in there. And underneath the trailer, we got this grate right here. This grate forms a little bit of a platform, wouldn't you say? What we're gonna do is mount a water tank on it. That water tank is gonna be used for a shower setup. wrong with this thing? It might be broke. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's broke, dude. What Wait. the f I'm almost ready to paint the trailer. But before we do that, I wanted to quick test fit the new wheels and tires to make sure that we're not gonna have to modify this fender flare. So, here we go. Quick side note, the color of these wheels are Jade's old color because I still had a couple paint cans left that were working. Sprayed them quick. And uh, anyways, I'll be painting them back to Jade's color. There we go. The trailer's pretty light, completely gutted out, so I just got a few lug nuts on hand tight. Ben has installed the other side, right Ben? You bet. We're gonna pull out the jack stands and see how they fit resting on the ground. Mm. 
nuts all the way. So, definitely got some rubbing on this front corner. That is a stiff new spring suspension. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even flex. Wow. It's been about five minutes and this is the verdict. We thought about different ways that we can increase the height clearance in here between the tire and this fender flare. Difficulty wise, the easiest option we thought of was making a slice here, slice here, let me bend out all three sides and then down one's going to weld in a little bit of a support metal underneath. So that will bring our clearance out to here. So we'll gain about an inch and a half of clearance all the way around. I think that'll be enough because the leaf springs on here are really stiff. They don't really give a lot at all. So I think this is our best bet. Also our easiest, fastest bet, which is a good bet. Right, brother? Good idea. Ready. <laughs> all right, Ben's got the sawzall. Here we go. Yep, so just a straight line. And uh, yeah, don't screw it up. This was the test dummy side and it seems like it's going to work out pretty alright. They got this nice bulge right there on the corner and after some pounding, it smooths it out like so. <laughs> the vlog's getting weird, brother. <laughs> so there's an underground cellar. First, we gotta go down there to check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyways, 